Gibson Chasey Cakes Podcast. I'm Bert Lepore. He's Jamie on Monte Carlo. We're hanging here with Angry Mike G. And today, we're ranking the movies in the Rocky franchise. Who will be the champ? And who will be the chump? All right. We're back for another episode. Episode 8, Mixed Tapes and Tasty Cakes. Uh, this one, we're going through the Rocky movies. Uh, all six Rocky movies and... The two Creed films, we're going to rank them all. Uh, we threw the Creed movies in because it's basically like Rocky 7 and 8 to us. I mean, just a different title to rebrand it, I guess. But probably because the Rocky movies are turning into like uh, Friday 13th movies. Like, you know, <laughs> Rocky, Rocky 9, Rocky 10, you know. Revenge of Creed. I mean, it's, it, it, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but we still love you. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> we, lo- we love you, Rock. <laughs> All right, so uh, before we even get to the countdown, we're going to explain how, how we get the countdown. So pretty much, right, like this is eight movies. So everybody ranks the way they like to rank it from one to eight, and then we take the point system wherever they land on everybody's picks, and then we add them up. The lowest number ranks the highest. So if you're wondering how we're getting these numbers or, you know, my favorite might be three, his favorite might be one, we just put them all together, we combine them, and how they come out, they come out. So... With that being said, we do have a special guest tonight. We have Frankie Meepo from Cooking with Frankie Meepo. What's up, Frank? What's up, guys? How we doing? Thanks for having me here on Mixed Tapes and Tasty Cakes. <laughs> What's up, Frank? Dude, I watch your channel, man. Actually, me and Mike watch it all the time. Um, Donnie watches it all the time. We love it, man. We get a kick out of it. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's I good. appreciate the support, man. It's, ah, come on, dude. You've been, <laughs> you've been checking my shit out for years. <laughs> and you and Dame are like brothers. You guys have been, you know, hanging out since you were kids, man. Mike oh, remembers I, you when you were kids. I grew up with Frankie. We were, yeah. Same yeah. Same. yeah. <laughs> you know, look, look at Mike trying to get some chick points with my dog. No, she's, she's, <laughs> this is all He's trying her. to get the broads to say, this look at that. Her. That's my cute dog. I get the points, not Mike. Just well, bring remember the that. The basement. Bring the dog down your basement. No, she'll mm. fucking piss all over. She's bad. <laughs> Chihuahua's loyal, lovable, Come fucking look at, bad. Look at this dog. Look at this dog. He's look lovable. That. What's up, Penny girl? Everybody, that's Penny. What and, about uh, girl, Penny? <laughs> What's up, Penny girl? I she doesn't Pen- like me too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, I call her Penny Loggins because she shits all over the floor. So she leaves a lot. Penny, Penny Loggins or Penny Loafer. Well, that's another one I call her. Is that when you, you know? kick her? Nah. <laughs> she's too cute. Look at that face. She's way too cute. All right, guys. So we're going to get into the Rocky stuff here. Coming in at number eight, Rocky five. Damo, what you got? Huh. Dude, I hate this friggin' movie. <laughs> I, I, I really do. It, it, it never should have been made. It's uh, everything about it is just is just awful. I mean, it, it could have been good if, if uh, you know, Rocky actually fought in a ring at the end, you know, instead of like a street fight. Like, I, I, I get it. You know? Yeah, but, but his ring's outside now. It's outside. Yeah. He <laughs> right. Yeah. The, the guy, at, the, at this point, the guy's dirt poor and, and he, you know, he, he can make like probably millions of dollars on the fight or whatever. And he wants to fight on the street. Okay. But, you know, if it was up to me, if I ran, uh, what is it, MGM Pictures, I would give everybody like a $100 rebate or whatever <laughs> to return their vhs and dvds and then collect them all throughout the country and make like a, a landfill like to make california bigger or something i don't know that's the first I hate, that's the well, first time i heard dame ever talk bad about anything <laughs> well, i hate it <laughs> i just we thought I, you were I, a I, nice I, guy <laughs> not, not when it comes to rocky five <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> what do you so, got, Mike? What do you got? W- w- this landfill would that be sitting next to the Atari ET tapes? That's what I. See, I, I well, that's where I got the idea. Like the the uh, ET, yeah, <laughs> the ET Atari game. Yeah. Yep. Yo, I bought that ET game, and let me tell you, I still don't know how to fucking play it. I have no clue. The head goes <laughs> I mean, up. Nobody I have knows no how. Clue. It's as the, e- the ET game is as bad as Rocky Five. Crazy. Oh, well, that, yeah. <laughs> Mike, what do you got on Rocky Five? Well, I, I mean, I can't beat Damien on that. I mean, so. I, you're speechless. I, I, it definitely was the worst one. The only thing was good, how he got there. That was about it. That was five minutes of the story. After that, everything yeah, yeah. sucked. How about you, Frankie? Well, I, I kind of disagree with them. I, I kind of <laughs> like it. First of all, the, the one 
one because it's in Philly. They they filmed it right around the corner from one uh, the school is uh, right around the corner from one of my friend's house. I got to walk through the gate that his son did. Um, I got pictures of uh, him and Tommy Gunn running down the Italian market. Uh, to me, I wouldn't say it, it it should be in a landfill, but it's pretty <laughs> low on my list. But I still like it, though. I mean, I like the street fight. I like the street fight scene. I think that's awesome. I love the street fight. You know, you've seen a guy fight in the ring. you see the a guy uh, almost break thumbs in part one. But uh, but yeah. the street fight, I think I think the street fight kind of did it for me. <clears throat> um, and just the, the flashback of Mick was yeah. was pretty much That's at the cool. end, like get up, <clears throat> you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Mickey loves you. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Rocky Rocky Five, it, it's the bottom of the list. But I like all the Rockies. I'm a sucker yeah. for all of them. So yeah, to me, there's not a there's not a bad one. This is this is the worst one on the list. But I like Tommy Morris, and I thought it was a great character. There was a good build up, you know, how he was a nobody. He wanted the help from Rocky. He was just kind of like a brawler, you know. And then he was Rocky's puppet. And he couldn't take the publicity and the newspapers and all that bullshit. I kind of dug it. I kind of like. I kind of like. I liked it. It was it's my least favorite, but I still like. It. I still think right. it's a decent I, movie. I, I agree. I, I like how Tommy Gunn turned his back on um, Rocky when yeah. Rocky turned his back on his family, but his family was there to pick up the pieces. Right. And Tommy right. Gunn kind of like Rocky was about the sport. Tommy Gunn was more about the money and the fame. Well, he never had it. Yeah. So it came fast and he didn't know how to deal with it. When you get that money young, you know, it's like anything, you know, you see guys don't last that long and he burned out. And also, you know, the comparison to probably, you know, the promoter, like a Don King kind of promoter, right? Yeah. you know, he didn't give a fuck. Yeah. He just wanted the money. He wanted the big payday. And um, I will say one thing, though, man. When they show the kid and the kid's like, yeah, this and that, my father would have been like, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> the, the kid's talking back. You got to be out of your friggin' mind. My dad would have been like, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Who, who was the kid? <laughs> I, well, I might have been his real son, I think. Yeah, Sage. Yeah, I think it was his real son. But, um, it comes in last place. Guess what? Every time it's on, I still watch it. I'm still glued to the TV. Yeah, yeah. Rocky Click. Five. <laughs> Not a contender, evidently. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's move on to number seven. Creed 2. Dan, what do you got for Creed 2? Um, I watched it again the other night. And like halfway through, I was like, you know what? I watched this one before. <laughs> I totally <laughs> forgot about it. <laughs> Which yeah. uh, goes to show you how memorable it was, but I thought it was okay. I mean, uh, I mean, I thought like you got if Creed two is seven, there's like a huge drop off. Like, I mean, right. that's how bad I think Rocky five is. Like, I, I don't, I don't think they're pretty close. That's my opinion. <laughs> I, 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 I did like the movie. Uh, you know, I mean, they keep they keep on going back, and bringing like these old, these old connections of Rocky's past, which is kind of cool, but it, it just kind of makes it seem like. Like uh, Rocky's world is like really small, you know what I mean? Right. Like, oh, it's it's a, just a coincidence that <laughs> you know Drago's son is fighting. But I did like, you know, <laughs> I did like it, you know. <laughs> hold, 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 hold here. I'm supposed to be angry, Mike Dave. <laughs> Damien's fired up tonight. Up tonight. <laughs> <laughs> He's very fired up tonight. Yeah. He's fucking fat. Must be that you can't drink after five o'clock thing tonight. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> As we're doing this on Thanksgiving Eve, yeah, um, Mike D, what do you got for um, Creed Two? Man, I, I like this one. I actually like this one a lot, and I, I think I actually like this better than the first Creed. And and I was going into this angry, angry and negative. <laughs> ah, it's going to be shit. They're bringing up more shit from the past. They're bringing up this uh, the Russian kid, and you know, I, I, no, I don't want to have any part with it. You kind of had to force me to even watch that one because that was going at the bottom of my list right. without even it was just i wasn't even gonna watch oh uh, you were shitting on it before so, it even started yeah. yeah absolutely but guess what i mean i thought that was done so much better than the first creed and, and it, it had more of a build-up to the fight it was a little long it had a lot of parts where they probably could have trimmed it off a bit but <laughs> that's how i feel you know, too yeah. yeah right but I, I i really enjoyed it i mean i, I would have definitely probably put it one higher but hey what are you gonna do Frankie, what do you got for Creed 2? Creed 2, 
I like the storyline, how Drago's son and has to fight uh, Creed's son. It's like it's like Drago and Creed all over again, right? But my thing is, he's getting married. He's having a kid. There's just like too much. I think they try to jam mm -hmm. in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it kind of took away. <laughs> I really like the fact that the way he, he trained in Mexico with, with that tire, man. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Fun. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty cool. But and then, uh, like, like I said, I, I think uh, it, it was a great storyline. I think if they would have left a couple things out of the movie and just focused on the fight rather than her getting pregnant, this, that, and the right. other thing, you know what I mean? I think it would have been a been, been a home run like Rocky IV. Mm -hmm. But um the whole story about how he was how like Russia turned her back on him and stuff like that. I, I, I pretty much really wasn't buying it. Well, I think that stuff really goes on though. I mean I could be wrong, or at least back in the day it did. So it was kind yeah, of like yeah, you're, you're fighting for your honor, your country kind of thing. This is I mean, I could be I, I don't really remember, but uh, at the end of Rocky Four Every, they, they turned on him, but didn't like Drago con congratulate Rocky at the end? Like it kind of seemed like yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah. so like yeah. yeah. So when I saw Creed two, I'm thinking like okay, Rocky and Drago are, are kind of cool now. You know, all these years passed. Well, no, appar apparently not. You know, no. He killed his best friend. I mean, <laughs> so no, I don't yeah. think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I like the line where uh, where Drago said to Rocky, you know. I'm like a a, 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 a a stray dog. They yeah. spit on me. And Rocky turns around and says, well, in in here, we put stray dogs down. <laughs> yeah, we put them away, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me, Creed 2 was, it was pretty damn good. I thought it was better than Creed 1 also, but uh, it makes seven on our list. And um, I think it was pretty good. I like the fact that they brought back Bridget Nielsen. I thought it was, I thought it was actually mm -hmm. a pretty cool storyline. That you know the mother turned the back and went with the higher ups or wherever the hell they, yeah. they are, right. and um, I kind of like that idea. And that he was pretty much got shit on after the whole thing, and now he was looking to come back and you know get in the good graces again, you know, because they I guess invest a lot of time, a lot of money, and he lost, and you know I guess that's the way things are over there. But um, I like the fact that you know even at the end you see him throwing the towel to save his son kind of deal. Yeah, I, I was, like that. that was I good. thought that was pretty good. Yeah, and you know. And the whole Bridget Nielsen thing was great. I mean, I thought it was great. She, she turned his back on him at the end. Yeah. And then at the end, you know, it kind of shows the father and son still training, saying, you know, frig them all, you know, we're yeah, going to do absolutely. our own thing. But the problem, and I'm in agreeing with all you guys here, is that, and it happens in some of these Rocky movies, the whole love interest thing just goes, I yeah, mean, yeah. We're guys. We don't mind a little bit of that. It's got to be there. But at the same time, we don't need the whole bump and grind you know what i mean <laughs> i mean the kids or, or, are, yeah, yeah it's yeah 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 and the, the kid's a pretty good actor but he he just don't have an edge like even with creed one he just don't have he's missing that edge rocky was a nice guy but he had some edge it's a little too cocky for his own good He's cocky, but he's not like street cocky. He's smart right, cocky. Right, right. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. He sounds like a he sounds like a smart kid trying to be street. <laughs> you well, know? I think that's, that's pretty much what it was, though. That's that, that was his character. You know? So. Yeah. yeah, I come from Nathan nowhere. You know, <laughs> whatever the fuck. I, I'll, I'll tell you what, though. His uh, his mother, uh, you know, Mrs. Huxtable, whatever her name, Felicia Rashad. <laughs> Felicia Rashad. <laughs> She, she was great. I mean, she was I, I awesome. thought she, yeah, she I was, thought she was, she I, was I, awesome. I, I was like, damn, man, she is like a really good actor. You know? Oh, she's she's phenomenal. She's phenomenal. So that's what we got. Creed 2 comes in number seven. We're going to move on to number six. Rocky 4. Demo. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I like this one. I, I did like the... Uh, the story I, I really liked, you know, when you know Apollo comes back, and man, I, I I loved Apollo. Like oh, I wish I wish I never killed him. I wish I never killed him off. Yeah, man. He was, was awesome. he was like <laughs> he was like the perfect perfect film. But I thought I thought Drago was like, dude, it was it, 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 was, it cool. was pretty it was awesome. pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. Man. But at the same time, it started becoming a little a little cartoony, a little too, cartoony, you know? yeah. But 
Yeah, I mean, I I like this one. I liked it a lot better, you know, when I was a kid. I mean, but, um, it was 1985. Everything was yeah. kind of that way I, around there, dude. Everything, everything back then was like <laughs> Russia. R- Russia was like was like the Cold dude, War. Cold War, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. dude. Every, everybody was scared of the Russians, man. Yeah, <laughs> it was Mike, uh, it was a good good villain. Mike, what you got? No, I mean, I really like this one. I probably this would have been my fourth pick, but. I mean, it, I, I kind of like that. I had good memories of this one when I was younger. I mean, like, we, the, the, just the Russian, the, the whole thing with, oh, if he That's dies, cool. he dies. And the whole, yeah. it was just like, it was a lot of, I mean, I, I think Killing Creed kind of sucked in there. But yeah. I also think, like, he thought he was going to have a big franchise with Action Jackson. But uh, <laughs> 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 that was Carl oh, Weathers, right? Sh- Shit. Am I, 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 am I, I right? think I you was. About that one. Action Jackson. Wow, that was pretty good, Mike. I didn't wow. expect that one. <laughs> <laughs> Frankie, what do you got? Four. Four. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Great storyline. It's probably one of the best um, soundtracks to a movie. Oh, yeah. What yeah. is Rocky movie? The soundtrack yeah. is awesome. His uh, training montages are probably the best in four, but. I mean, I don't think four fits into the Rocky motivational kind of movies. I know you could probably say Drago. Okay, Drago is something, one of the biggest mountains that you can't climb, that you got to beat in life. But still, like you said, cartoony. It was just like, I don't know. It didn't do it for me. But then again, like all the Rockies are good. Four is, you know, it's got the, the best training montage. The best soundtrack. It's a good storyline, but it's just not that old hardcore Rocky. Rocky Four. I don't know. For me, I liked it. I liked the whole Russian thing. I liked it. Uh, he went to Russia to train. I love the Apollo character. Sad that he, you know, died off on there, but he went out with a bang. You know, living in America came out with that big intro classic <laughs> Apollo. That James Brown, right? James Brown, the guy by the suit. I mean, it was uh, it was awesome. It, it was a spectacle, man. It was yeah. yeah. If I could go out like that, I'll be all right, you know. But uh, yeah, Rocky Four. I kind of dug it. And hey, remember the robot? They had the robot near Paulie. Paulie's probably my favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we what was that, Frank? Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday, Paulie. Yeah. <laughs> was he kind of like sexy or something yeah, yeah. like that? I don't know. Apollo's looking at him. He goes. She loves me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe's got the best lines ever. Yeah. Oh. yeah. You know, even now, uh, not to go back to Rocky, Rocky five, but I love the line where the guy goes, oh, you know, Miss Balboa must have Miss, Mrs. Balboa must have the cojones. And, um, <laughs> but, <laughs> and he turns around, which cojones mean? He goes, you know, it's Spanish for nuts. <laughs> That's like the best line ever. <laughs> He's going to get his cojones knocked out. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly, man. So, um, yeah, Rocky IV, I, I thought it was pretty cool. I mean, Drago was an awesome villain, you know. It was a really, really good movie. Cool, guys. Let's move on to our number five is Creed. It came out in 2015. Demo. I really like this. Uh, I thought uh, I thought Stallone did a great job, man. I thought his, his acting was like... Yeah, man. man, you know, and um, I kind of like that even, you know, it, it, it didn't have to be like, I mean, Rocky, it could have been called Rocky seven, but then again, I mean, it, it really, it really stands on, on its own, you know, it's, uh, you know, it didn't use the, like the Rocky music themes or any, any of that stuff. Um, you know, uh, I, I hope they don't do any more than two, <laughs> you know, <laughs> Oh, they cool are. When you're, they definitely are. Cool when you're ahead. Nope, but, uh, they're not well, ahead. They got to do a three. They got to do they a are. three so he could die. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait. Nick died, didn't he? I, I, I want to hear Damien's right. reaction to this now because I read that there is going to be a three. I read that too. On uh, I, I saw a thing on Instagram where, oh, now it's going to be. Um, Mr. T's kid. Mr. T's kid. Uh, Clover yeah. Clover Lion. Lion. Like, can we just stop? With the kids, can we yeah, 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 yeah. You know, clever line like, right on. here, baby. Yeah, clever. <laughs> yeah. Clever, Mar- clever married with children too. was wonderful until they added that extra kid, and it ruined the show. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you know what would have been cool. Well, what would have been cool is you, is you have uh, uh, 
um, Mr. T, you have him as like the uh, uh, the boxing analyst during one of Creed's fights or something, you know? Like that's what he's doing now so many years later. It's like these guys just disappear and you don't hear from them again, you know what I mean? <laughs> I heard they <laughs> actually were going to do that. They should. I, heard I they think were... that would have been – I should've. think I heard they were going to do it for either for Rocky Five or I think actually Balboa they were going to do it for. Yeah, that would have been cool. What would uh, we, Clever I, I, Lang I, I, doing I like that? This one a lot. Mm-hmm. Hmm, throw left, throw right, fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> I mean, with yeah, these but he's got, that would have been awesome. Come on, <laughs> look, look at this damn fool. Truth for him and any age. At any age, who doesn't want more Mister T? So I, I mean, love Mister T. I, I, I love like the idea, but I can I'll love that fool. <laughs> Love Mr. T. Mike, what do you have on Creed? Wow, I liked it, but I didn't. I, I mean, it, it was a love and hate with me. I mean, there was things about the movie I liked. There was things about it I didn't like, but uh, it was better than I thought it would be. I'll put it that way. So Today, five years ago, it premiered. Oh, wow. Really? Creed 1 premiered today, five years ago. It's been that long already. Wow. Damn. But uh, I liked it. I thought it was great. I mean, uh, I agree with Damien. <clears throat> Sylvester Stallone's acting was great. I like how he was he was dying and he wanted to give up and he didn't want to live no more. I feel with, with, with Michael B. Jordan's character, with Creed, it kind of mirrored Rocky 1. Mike I was saying Creed, that earlier to me, yeah. I think Creed yeah. kind of mirrored Rocky 1 in, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. in, in the aspect. He was saying that to me. We were going back and forth. And uh, we were just talking about, I'm like, ah, no, nah, it's its own thing, you know? And he's like, no, nah, man, it's almost the same friggin' thing. And I'm like, ah, maybe, maybe he's right, <laughs> you know? Right, because they, 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 both, both of the challengers got hurt, and they needed somebody, Yeah, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, for me, uh, Creed was good. Uh, another thing, because me and Mike did talk earlier about it, it's like, the the score in the background there really wasn't no score it was really a lot of quiet, quiet. yeah yeah it it was weird it was i love the storyline that you know he was in foster homes and then he, you know he went you know fighting for himself and you know when he was put away i i love that part he's the yeah. illegitimate kid i thought all that stuff was awesome cuz that's probably real that's some real well real shit, put together you know? Yeah. Oh, great. Great. But same thing. It's it's the edge going back to the character just don't have enough edge for me. Good actor. It's missing some kind of edge for me. So Creed one. I thought it was pretty good, but I thought two was better. <laughs> 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 so. Uh, all right, guys. So let's move on to number four. Rocky three. Damo, what do you got? Yeah, this is uh I'm not really that crazy about this. I mean, there's parts of it that I like. I mean, I, I like the, uh, I, you know, I thought Mr. T, Clever Lang was, you know, freaking great, yeah. man. I mean, he was yeah. he was so like, he he might have been like, I would love to see Clever Lang versus Drago. Like, do, yeah. do its own. <laughs> yeah. I pay for it. Shit. Like, dude, like, I don't know. Everything about Mr. T when I was a kid was just like, he was so fucking cool, man. Yeah. But, the team. Uh, everything. Yeah. He was just like. Yeah. You know, he was like a lovable bad guy. You know, he was he was, <laughs> he, he was like the the, the 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 perfect anti-hero. You know, but he, uh, had, yeah. a car- he had a cartoon, I believe, too, didn't he? He did. Yeah, he had yeah, a cereal. Yeah. Remember, Mister T cereal? cereal. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I had that. Shit, they were like kind of like the like alphabets almost, if I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Even Pee Wee Herman ate that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Pee Wee Herman. My cereal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Pee Wee. Oh my god. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Uh, yeah, but it, it was just great. I mean, Hulk Hogan was in it. It was like before Hulk Hogan oh, was like, god. you know, the Hulkamania was you know before that. Eye yeah. the Tiger. Forget yeah. Eye the Tiger. I mean, that's where it came. The yeah. Ultimate Meatball. Get the ultimate yeah. meatball. <laughs> the ultimate meatball. Frankie meatball. Um, I don't like the fact that this is like the like Rocky. Like Stallone is. More, it seems like he's playing like more of himself than like he loses that edge. I think like he was. It, I think he it, was. It, it's all. It's almost like he forgot how to how to be Rocky. Right. And he's you know he's like playing himself like he's. I don't know. And I guess like in, in real life, you know, like 
you know, a boxer, like, you know, he's poor and then he makes all this money. Just his lifestyle does change a bit. Absolutely. I don't know. But uh, it just seemed like he was like less, way, way less street, you know, more like a movie star. You know? Well, he, he, be- he got In money this, and became you know? Hollywood. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And that's, that, you know, that's that's what happened. I mean, you know, you get bloated, you know, he right. got bloated at that point. Apollo Creed had to take him back down the street. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, was going to straighten him out. I didn't need to be famous to get bloated. Shit. Yeah. I did like that, you know, him and Apollo became cool and like he was training them and everything. And, you know, then they had to fight at the end. You don't really know. You know, remember it, yeah, it ends it like cool. they're both. Yeah. It was cool. What about you, Mike? What do you got on Rocky Three? This was, I mean, this was really memorable for me. So this was kind of like I was maybe like eight or nine years old when this came out. I mean, like all the kids are around that are talking about this movie and, yeah, man, and it was my introduction to the wrestling because when you see Hulk Hogan, it's like, who's this yeah. fucking big? Who's this muscle guy? Like, oh, yeah. it's Hulk Hogan. Yeah, he's a wrestler. Wrestler, like, and you kind of like, oh, what the hell is this stuff? <laughs> so yeah, it was sort of that movie was sort of a gateway to different parts of my life. Awesome. How about you, Frankie? Uh, I absolutely loved it. Um, it was. I feel it was a. It was a turning point for Rocky, uh, the character. Um, you had uh, Mick die. Which yeah. killed, which really stripped him down, and right before he, he he died, he admitted to Rocky like, "Hey, you became civilized. Yeah. I carried you. You're not as good as you used to be. That's right. but that's, that's my job." Yeah, that's what so, I mean. Like he became civilized. You know, yeah. he became like right. not like a you know like a thug, a beast. You know what I mean? Right. right. And that and it happens a lot, man. It and then on top of that. His whole world with boxing gets crushed by what he said, and then his whole world gets crushed by Mick dying, and he had to reinvent himself, refine himself, and Apollo Creed helped him do that, helped him become a better boxer and and a better better and stronger person. It's like it goes back to Balboa. How much could you take and keep moving forward? Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, so for me, I, I think that that was a v- big turning point in the Rocky franchise. Part three, I think it was a very big uh, turn for the uh, for the franchise. That's weird. It's it's it almost kind of mirrors Tyson at that point in a certain sense. Because yeah. when he lost his manager, it was kind of like uh, yeah, he lost. After that, that's when he thing, sort of yeah. went downhill and kind of lost himself. Yeah, man. For me, Rocky three, I love it. I mean. I was real young when it came out, and uh, Rocky was just huge. Um, the thing with Hulk Hogan was great. Yeah, like, that was just awesome. I'm, I'm a wrestling fan. Yeah. So, uh, Thunder lips. Yeah, Thunder, Thunder lips. lips. <laughs> just great, man. Just great. I mean, then when he picks him up, he throws him. Oh man, Adrian, catch me! <laughs> <laughs> he's like, take off my gloves. Take off my gloves. Oh, it's great, dude. It's so it's so good. And as far as, you know, the villain or contender, whatever you want to call him, Clubber Lang. Believable. Oh, wow. Scary. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. Just, you know. How about when they were uh, trying to interview him in his locker room? He was going crazy. Get that guy out of my face. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> it was great. How about you, Miss Balboa? Hmm. Sure what a real man is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, great stuff. Dude, great. The look. The look was just awesome. Awesome. So we all agree we love Mr. T. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But like you said, Rocky gets bloated. He gets Hollywood. Mickey protects him. And uh, and that's that happens probably more than we know. You know? At that point, he's ready to retire. Clever Lang gets him out. Mickey dies. He loses the first one, wins the second one. Great movie. Rocky three. Close to my heart because nostalgia, maybe, but I love Rocky Three. You just said something about him retiring. Did you ever realize in almost every single Rocky movie he's retiring? Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> they come back for that big payday. Mm-hmm. Is that right? <laughs> that well, you know what payday. it is. Adrian's always up his ass. Yeah, she's you a know, bit of a like, pain in the ass, dude. She, I, I, I fucking hate Adrian. <laughs> she, she is just an ass. Damn, what's going on today? I, Damn, I, I, you're I, really I, upset. I just, you know, I liked her when she was a quiet, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Keep nerd. Let me fuck. You know, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, then, then Rocco, she wore the glasses. Yeah, Rocco gave her the old sausage, and now she's sad. <laughs> now she's sad. <laughs> It's like, Adrian, it. chill out, man. It's like... <laughs> Rocco set her loose. I'm giving my title to him tonight. Angry Damien. Angry, <laughs> Damien. angry D. That's it. Angry Mike D. And we have Angry D. That's crazy, uh. man. Oh. Put that sweater back on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's move on. Let's move on to the darkest of the Rocky films. Balboa, ranked at number three. Demo. I thought it was uh, a great redemption movie coming out of Rocky Five. <laughs> Damn. <Yeah. man. laughs> I mean, uh, it, 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 it was it was really good, man. I mean, I, I watch it again, uh, to, you know, freshen up on it. I watched it last night. And there's, uh, you know, there's some scenes, you know, you can kind of, you know, get choked up a little bit. You know, some of the scenes, you know, like, uh, you know, and, and he has like that that speech. You know where he's talking to his son. I mean that that's yeah. like legendary now. I, I yeah. see I see people posting on Facebook all the time. You know, and and you go to like you know a Flyers game or Eagles or you know whatever sport. You know, you, sometimes they put the, that video up just to pump people up. Mm. But, yeah, yeah, man. Um, you know, it, it also kind of went back to like the first movie where like you know it has it shows the city's grit. You know, it shows like you yes. know he's, he's he's back in like the old neighborhood. He goes to the bar that he was in in the first movie. Little Marie, you know, cool yeah, that was great. That was great. <laughs> she's back, you know, screw, screw you, Rocco. Rocco. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, Creepo. <laughs> yeah. Screw you, Creepo. You creepo. <laughs> I didn't we, say we, that. Yep. Good even had Spider Rico. Spider Rico, yeah. you're right, Mike. Spider Rico. Spider yeah. Rico. Yeah. Yeah. Washing those Spider dishes, Rico. baby. <laughs> Rocky oh. takes care of his own. He does, yeah. Spider Rico washing dishes in Balboa. No, who he reminds me of? A buddy of mine, Carmen Bruno. Oh he my god, like Carmen. I, I was thinking of that last night when I saw it. I was like, Holy shit, <laughs> what's wrong with you guys? <laughs> he does, man. He does remind me of Carmen. He's like, He's like hanging around, he's eating, and he's, he's got that stuff. big neck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know, him, but yeah, <laughs> yeah but it was funny, good to see man. uh, Spider Rico. <laughs> too funny mike what do you think about balboa oh that was a great movie i i, I would have put it higher but i kind of just for me i kind of left it in the arc with wow. kind of the way i thought the story should have been but i, yeah. I just kicked, kicked five right out of the story it should have went from four to this four to six yeah yeah how about you frankie i absolutely loved it i uh it's very motivational like damien said that speech with his son you know, it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get it and keep moving forward. I had a bad accident a few years ago, and I watched that movie over and over, Balboa, for some reason, and it spoke to me. It helped me. I was in a wheelchair for about two months. I almost oh, I didn't died. know, oh, wow. man. I didn't know that. Wow. And uh, it's it just from it, – it, it's good. He goes back in Philly. He has the uh, – the restaurant, his special is the pounded chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Little Marie is in it. I mean, it's great. I mean, the only person that was missing mm. out of Balboa was uh, Father, Father Carmine. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Give the blessing. <laughs> hey, Father Carmine. <laughs> Throw down the blessing. I mean, I mean, five, uh, yeah, not five. Uh, Balboa is like like, yeah, definitely redemption and him saying, like, hey, Rocky's not dead. Rocky's still alive, you know? Right, uh, right. Like, um, there's a lot of parts on the uh, deleted scenes. There's the one part where Paulie breaks down. Did you guys see that? Anybody no, catch no, that? no. Uh, no. You got, if you got the DVD, you got to look it up. I'm telling you. It, 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 I don't know why they cut it out. Pulley breaks down and tells Rocky, like, you know, I should have died instead of my sister. I was rotten to her and all. Right, like, right. You, all that guilt. Like, uh, Babbo was very emotional. Uh, he had a lot of, he, I think he couldn't get over the fact of Adrian dying. And I think he was going through a midlife crisis where he's, he loves to box, but he can't box no more. He's too old. Right. You know, and he was battling that. And um, at the end, uh, fighters fight. Yeah. Yeah, man. Balboa for me was a great movie. Sad movie. Very sad yeah. movie. 
uh, I love the computer fight thing. I thought that was cool. Going back to that was, uh, that was a cool idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was Cartoon going back fight. to uh, the Ali, yeah. <laughs> Ali and <laughs> Rocky Marciano. Back right. in the day, they did one of those things. So that was kind of cool. I thought it was it was neat that they did that. Uh, dark story. Age was not there this time. Yeah. Uh, just I mean, these guys pretty much said it all. Just a really, really good movie. Definitely one of my favorites. It ranked pretty high. Ranked a little higher than I thought it was going to rank, but it ranked pretty high. Let's move on to number two, which is Rocky Two. What do you got, Demo? I thought it was a great continuation of, of the first one. Like. It almost like rock like one and two could have been like one long ass movie. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, yes. You know, it, it, in a way, it kind of reminds me of like uh not that it's as good as it, but it kind of reminds me of Godfather Part Two. Just like yeah. how the I don't right. know, for some reason. Like I, I always movie. Yeah, it just seemed like one, you know. One continues. But um yeah, I mean I like that it, you know. I think people were like, "Hey, how come he didn't win?" But you know, it's it, he was the underdog in the first one, and uh, right. you know, and then he he comes back and he gets his rematch, and, and you know, and he wins, and then you know, Adrian's up his ass even more. <laughs> 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 but uh, you know, I I, I I like the scenes where he, you know, he's uh, you know, he's kind of like uh, doing all the commercials and everything. Oh, the <laughs> best! Was, it makes me smell so good. Funny. You know, and then, and then he buy, he buys the Firebird. He doesn't know how to drive it. You know, <laughs> dude. You know, yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, the part where uh, he's like, when me and the fellas go out for a rendezvous. <laughs> rendezvous. Yeah. <laughs> rendezvous. <laughs> yeah, awesome. I, I, I really like this one, and it it just you know it seemed like you know it was a couple years or what was it two three years after the first one came out. It just seemed like the same. You know. Hey, look, he smelled mainly. Wow, he's got honey. <laughs> no, they made those. Put that to the camera oh, a little great. more, Frank. Let me see. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. I never <laughs> I seen that. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Mike, what do you got for Rocky 2? Yeah, I mean, it, it, yeah, it just felt like it was a continuation of like part one. It was, you know, it was a little more upbeat, of course, at the end, but mm -hmm. yeah, great movie. Yeah, it, man. It just. I mean that was that was memorable from when I was a kid. It was a, I think the first one came out maybe the year I was born. So, but yeah, this one I think I remember catching when it was in the theaters. I'm, I'm almost sure it came out one. in '79. This one came out in '79. Yeah, I might have caught it when I was like a little kid back in a driving theater or something. Who knows? But <laughs> driving theater. <laughs> wow. What do you got, Frankie, for Rocky Two? Rocky Two, an absolute favorite. One of the best he ever put out. Um, like Damien said, a continu continuation from the first movie. Um, <clears throat> in the beginning of the movie, he's healing and he finds out he can't see. It upsets him. Now he's got to be an average Joe. But before he gets there, he just won all this money. Just like any of us get all that money. At first, we're going to be fucked. We're going to be blown. You know what I mean? <laughs> buy a car, buy this. You yeah. want to have a good time. You got to have a good watch. You know what I mean? You got to have that. a good watch. <laughs> 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 so, but like, it, it was great, you know? And again, with Adrian being up his ass, he can't be the man he wants to be, right? Right, right, right. And, and he's going to get killed. But he learns... He can't fight left handed because he can't see out of that eye. Right. So he changes his whole style of fighting. Again, believes in Mick. Mick is Mick and Adrian are his driving force. I know Damien don't like Adrian, but <laughs> it was one of his driving forces. You know? Yeah. But I mean, absolute awesome, awesome flick, man. <clears throat> Rocky two, great movie. I mean, he wins the belt at the end. Yo, Adrian, I did it. You know, that speech Great was movie. probably the, one of the best. It, 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 it warms the heart. It sounds I real. Say, yeah. One thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah. Rocky two is great. I mean, I, I love that there's not going to be a rematch. Then Apollo kind of can't take it because he's getting trashed in the papers. They're thinking you carry this bomb. It, it's so realistic. I think I really do. Yeah, I really yeah. do. And the fight scenes are just great. Yeah, the an average Joe so getting a second shot. Come on, forget about it. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. But that was money at the time. You know, he went the distance with the champ. Mm -hmm. That's definite money. So uh, let's move on to number one, which we all know is Rocky, the original Rocky. Damo, what you got? I mean, uh, 
it's a classic. I, I think it's one of the best movies ever. Definitely the best boxing movie, and, and it's definitely Stallone's best movie. I mean, it's just everything about it. You know, being being from Philly, I love like I just love how you know how they show the city like. Like, it's just like so gritty, man. It looks Very like, rustic, uh, man. yeah, mm-hmm. like you know, dilapidated and everything. I, I like the, uh, you know, when he's walking in the neighborhoods, you know, the, the street, the street corners, singers, you know, take it back. Do 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 do. do. <laughs> now it's going to be in everybody's head. <laughs> yeah. Take it back. Once you hear uh, it, you can't stop doing it. Yeah, everything, man. I, and uh, you know, he, he the the inspiration from the movie he got from. Uh, Muhammad Chuck Ali, Wepner. yeah, was fighting Chuck Wepner, who was like pretty much a nobody, but he right. he took, you know, Muhammad Ali to like you know the distance. So he got the idea, and he you know he just kind of you know played yeah. off it a little bit. But um, yeah, man, I mean everything about it, I love every. I mean, I, I you know, I I get choked up watching, I get pumped up every every little every emotion yeah. in you. Like yeah, if, man. If, if you don't feel nothing after watching that movie, man, you're not a human being. <laughs> Yeah, man. <laughs> you know, he he hates Adrian though. Yeah, yeah. you know what? I, I I do like Adrian in this one. You know, I I, I like the dynamic. You know, she knows like, her place. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's wrong. She, she didn't come talk on. Much, you know, I I I felt bad for her. you know Paulie was always Paulie was picking on her all the time. You know, oh, it's, but it's the best. Paulie's the best. Paulie's a, you oh, want yeah. your freaking bird? You want your freaking bird? I'll eat your freaking bird. <laughs> Mike, what do you got for Rocky? Yeah, I mean, it's a classic movie. Rags to riches and yeah, man. an average Joe to being famous overnight. Yeah, it was a great movie. It's, the 70s had some of the best movies. Absolutely. In my opinion. Absolutely. How about you, Frankie? What do you got on Rocky? Absolutely best movie ever written, hands down. I agree with Damien. I mean, forget about it. Think about it. We're all from South Philly, right? First, a kid from South Philly, a leg breaker, collected for the mob, don't have don't have two cents to rub together, living in poverty. You see his apartment? But he gets <laughs> one shot. His apartment, it stinks, Mick. It <laughs> stinks, <laughs> Mick. Got no <laughs> legs. <laughs> Oh, I'll fight the fight. You already fight. I'll fight the fight. We'll get Legs ain't fight. working. <laughs> <laughs> it stinks, Mick. <laughs> Love that part. Uh, for me, Rocky won, man. Total classic. Rags the riches. I love the. Yeah, man. I love the whole buildup of, you know, the Italian stallion. I love when they say I Italian. I, yeah. I love it. <laughs> it's an old school thing. I, I really love it. Great yeah. movie. The movie score gets you pumped, man. I mean, Bill yeah. Conti. Oh, yeah. The, the movie score is just like you hear that now, man. You're like, yeah, let's go. You know, it's <laughs> yeah. so pumping. And I love how like older movies, like Mike said, from the 70s, they would take a song. They would take a main song. And the 80s did it in the beginning. They would take a main song and then they would use four or five different versions of that song yeah. throughout yeah, the movie. Yeah. That was awesome. Right. That was awesome. You hear a slower version, a heavier version, a, mm-hmm. you know, they would just change the, the way it was, but it would still be that somewhere in the middle. And through the well, Rocky movies, you do hear that, you know, that main thing going through here and there. If you catch you catch it. And so even with the creeds, it's one, you know, they're in there somewhere. You know, it's a build up part. Rocky it, is the ultimate movie, man. Yeah, and now it's everything's like, all soundtrack money. And, you know, yeah, yeah. they want to promote. And- it's almost like the the, uh, the music was like an actor, you know, like the character. And it's like it's like playing different roles. So you have like yeah, so you have like one song, the main theme, and then you know, depending on the scene, you know, it kind of changes a little bit. Okay, it's it's a sad moment, so it's a main theme, but it's just you know, changes to be a little, you know, you know what I mean? Like that's how important it was, you know? Yeah, man. So Rocky number one is number one. He's the champ. So uh, let's move on to the part of the show that we like to bullshit about here. (laughs) I got two things for you today, okay? The first thing is, we're recording this on Thanksgiving Eve. The fight is this Saturday, so this will be out oh, after yeah. the fight. So I just want a prediction early here, and we're going to go with Damo first. Tyson Roy Jones Jr., who's your pick? You know, I was looking today because I was thinking about 
I, I want to, hadn't gotten, you know, fight in years. So I saw it was like 49.99. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking it's like 1986 Mike Tyson was like, <laughs> all right, should I pay the 50 bucks and then see Tyson knock this guy out in like, you know, 32 <laughs> seconds? <laughs> the answer is yes, you should. <laughs> I'll go to the but, bathroom. You might miss something. <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I, I, I got to find one of those pirate sites or something. You got to get it on the yeah. pay-per-views. <laughs> I, I got to get the chip. <laughs> the old school chip. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, Tyson, uh, you know, I, lo- I love Tyson, man. Damien's yeah, going man. with Tyson. Mike D. Yeah. Mike Tyson all the way. How many Absolutely. rounds do you think? How long? I say three. Uh, Damien says three rounds. Mike? Yeah. Well, he said three. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go four, but that three was my pick. But <laughs> How about you, Frankie? I'm going to have to say yeah, Mike Tyson, Brooklyn brother. You know what I mean? <laughs> there um, you go. I, I, I'd like to see Mike Tyson knock him out in the first. I'm going to go with Tyson. But I think he's going to dab a little bit. I think he'll get pissed off around the fourth round. I'm going to go with the fourth round. So Damien went with three. He's going to get pissed off in the fourth. (laughs) And then he's going to get hungry in the fifth and bite bite an air. Mike's a bad mother, man. He's bad. (laughs) He is. My favorite boxer of all time. Definitely. Yeah, mine too. Definitely. So uh, I grew up with him. Yeah, absolutely. He's the best. So uh, the last part of the show... We got Frankie here. We're going to talk food real quick for the last couple minutes. And uh, Dame, you're ordering pizza. Two things. Square around and where are you going? Uh, Well, if I was still in South Philly, I'd order around from Celebrace. Oh, really? Yeah. Celebrace, Celebrace, huh? A regular pizza from Celebrace? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Dame, I go to Celebrace all the time before a Flyers game. I feed I love the kids it. there so I don't have to buy food for them. At, at the smart. <laughs> yeah, right. That's smart. How about you, Mike? I would say regular round pizza, I go to Pesto's. Pizzeria Pesto. Okay. Pesto's pretty good. Pets, yeah, Pesto's yeah, pretty and good. Definitely a round pizza. No no squares. I'm, nah. You don't like the square, huh? How about you, Frankie? Not too big on the I square. Love, I love square. Me too. Frankie? Well, I've been out of South Philly so long, so if, if I'm going to do a round pizza, I'd make it. It's <laughs> a good answer, but uh, I, I I order Sicilian. It, 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 it feeds the family. I'm a family of five. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Plus, it, it's you have some left over. You got what? Sixteen slices? Forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I usually just make my own pizza, pretty much. There you go. I'm waiting for that Black Sabbath pizza, though. I'm waiting. Yeah, for it. man. Yeah. I, I keep hearing stories about that thing. But uh, for me, round, if I get round, it's probably going to be uh, city pizza. I like their pizza. So oh, round yeah. pizza, city sure. pizza, and square, which is my favorite, I yeah. would go to Franco and Luigi's. I like, I like the thick square, the gravy. Are they still around? Yeah. 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 So I would go to Franco and Luigi's for the square. And um, yeah, man, that, that's, that's what I would pick. And, you know, you, you have leftovers. I like there's nothing better than the cold square pizza or a tomato pie with a cup of coffee in the morning. Ah! That's the best. Love tomato pie. Oh, tomato pie is the best. Tomato pie, go to Cassius. I like Cassius. Yeah, me too. Tomato pie. Yeah. yeah. I forget how good it is until I eat it. Yeah, man. Good stuff. Celebrees. If I go to Celebrees, it's just for the pizzazz. Yeah, oh, that's that's yeah, amazing pizza. pizza. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, yeah. So, uh. We got Frankie Meeple here. Thank you for coming in, Frank. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me, man. Hey, man. I think we're. Thank I think you, we're Frank. probably going to see you back here again real soon. You never know. It yeah. could happen soon. Time, man. <laughs> this guy's going to come over and do some Frankie Meeple. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm a Maybe taste tester. Some meatballs, some sandwich, whatever you want. <laughs> <The sassy. laughs> some peppers and onions. <laughs> what do you uh, like, Henry? The wind on the lake. That's right. The hoof. <laughs> it was the hoof, Henry. <laughs> It was the hoof. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Get the word out. Do what you could. We're looking to build this thing up. Mixtapes and tasty cakes. Have a great Thanksgiving, even though it's the week after now you're going to hear this, but take care, guys. Goodbye. All right. Until next time.